Hello friends, welcome to Tech and Techie. Today we will see how to fix the Bluetooth problem in Windows 10 operating system on Dell Latitude 3410 laptop. So guys, this user having problem with his Bluetooth connectivity on his Dell laptop. He is not able to connect the Bluetooth headset. Let's see how we can fix the Bluetooth connectivity problem on this video. Let's see on Bluetooth and other device. Okay, here we are now. As we can see here, two Bluetooth devices are off, but this is not the case. If you go to click on this, then we will get to see that it is grayed out and unable to connect, even can't remove this device. The user has already turned it on and it's working fine on his phone, but not here. So what might be the issue on the Dell laptop? Now guys, we will go on control panel to see on device manager. Just click on administrative tools to get computer management. Right click on computer management and run as administrator privilege to get access into device manager. So there we go and let click on it to see what we get here. See guys here is the problem with the bluetooth driver as it is not started. Having some issue with this. What we do now? We can uninstall this driver first and scan it to get the default driver to update this again. Now go for find and fix problem with Bluetooth devices. Let's click on it to get the Bluetooth troubleshoot wizard. It will detect the problems and if found any problems with that then fix it. Hmm. It found here one problem with the Bluetooth radio which shows us that to check with the Bluetooth radio status. Okay, we can go to click on details to see the reports in details here. And let's do it one more time. Click on this again to start the troubleshoot, but this time we'll go by advanced option to get the apply repairs automatically. Check on it and go for next to start the troubleshoot to detect the problems. Yeah, this time we get the option to apply this fix to reinstall the Bluetooth driver from here. Okay, let's go for it. Now it is resetting Bluetooth adapter. It is asking to check on Windows update. If you find this, then we'll update from here. Let's go for it. Click on check the updates to update all Windows patches. If there is any pending, we'll go for that. Move to the Bluetooth troubleshoot. Here we can see that the radio status is still not fixed, but the Bluetooth driver is fixed. Close this wizard and move to the next step. Now we'll see the privacy settings for radios. If there is some problem, then we'll reset that. Here it is already on, but we'll just turn it off and then on. Okay. So now guys, we'll see in Windows update that how much it is done. It starting installing now, no problem. We can do other possible things to get it fixed till Windows update get completed. Now we will try to update drivers from Dell support side. As I'm not sure by troubleshooting process, this has fixed properly. So we will try to update the latest drivers from Dell side. Here it will identify the system and will provide the drivers to updates. Here it shows that the laptop model if we click on it then will give us another page to download the compatible and latest drivers. We can go for automatically find drivers to updates as well as manually find a specific driver. Right? We will run automatically to get the latest drivers and manually for Bluetooth driver. Let's click on download button to download it. Once it is downloaded, then we'll install this. See here, we get by auto scan. Three drivers are there to updates. We'll select all and go for download and install. Here, these Bluetooth drivers also get downloaded now. We'll run it to install. The installation process is started and here we have done it. Click finish to restart the system. Let's go for it. Then we'll see this system again after it get restarted. Here we are guys again on the remote system and we'll see the windows update again. Here it is showing to drivers update. Let's go for this. Wait till it get downloaded and installed. Now again it is asking for restart. Click on this to restart the system. 
I am again on the remote system after it started. Let's see now the Bluetooth device get connected or not yet. Go for Bluetooth and other devices. Scroll down to see. Yeah, these are connected now. We can see it, right? Now guys, I will do one of these defaults so the user can use it properly without any problems. The one is active will make it default. Okay, let's move to the sound control panel so we can choose here one of the active Bluetooth device to make it default. We can set this default device in playback as well as in recording. Playback is for speaker and recording is for microphone, right? Now, we'll make these default settings on applications as well like web software and MS Teams. Okay, let's first we we'll do this Bluetooth device default in web software we just have to make sure that the uh, user will not face any voice problem. Now we'll move to the MS Teams here also. We will do the same settings for Bluetooth to make the default settings. Okay, we have done here all successfully. If you like this video guys, please do comment and subscribe to this channel. Please don't forget to click on bell icon to get the latest video notification. See you guys on my next video. Till then have a great day and bye bye.